Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chuby. For those of you that this is your first time here, welcome. Feel free to introduce yourself in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like, what are you doing? Hi, welcome. So anyways, um, today's video, I wanted to go over my top five things that I currently feel suck about this BBL process. Uh, I know a lot of people tend to glamorize this procedure. Um, and it's cute, you know, you can post your little cute pictures on the gram and you got a new start at life and you cheated some corners. But ultimately there are some things that suck about this. So I wanted to break it down to my top five that I feel right now. I'm just not feeling um so keep watching if this is something that you really if you're considering doing this procedure let's not misconstrue the point of this video i am not trying to say five things that i regret about my surgery because there is nothing i regret i 100 percent fully back up the fact that i finally gathered up um just all of my doubts and finally implemented something that had been on my mind for a while. I am now more self-motivated than I was before, more confident. I have an inner happiness that I didn't have before. So to any of you that are pondering and going back and forth, like debating, should I have the surgery? I don't know if I should. I don't want to be um, selfish and spend all this money on myself, but you know deep down if it's, it's a thought that's lingering in your mind, I feel that you should just go ahead and do it. And I support that 100%. Now, this video, however, is about five so things. Drive, too. What? My sex drive is better now because of my surgery? Yeah, you got more confidence in yourself, so now you're more willing to open up and Okay, so he says that now also. I have to add that in there. I am more sexually um, open. Well, I've always been a freak, but I think now, I think afterwards, maybe because it was so long before you could have, do anything, maybe you were just turned up, but like, yeah, you'd be turned up a little more. Okay, so he says I'm more sexually open with him now that I've had the surgery, so let's add that in there also, ladies, if you're wanting to be more sexually open. So this is um, my top five things, though, that I want to bring awareness to some of you that if you're thinking about doing the surgery, top five things that do suck about the surgery, because let's keep it real. This is a life changing procedure. And with life changing procedures come life changes that you have to implement into your routines. So we're going to go over five things that I feel right now, today, about two months post-op. I would stand up and show you guys my results, but um, I don't have any pants on. So we're just going to keep it like this. Put the tank top on. We are going to get into this video. So I made a little list of my top five things. So number one of the things that completely suck about this surgery. Where's my list? all right so number one i would say is definitely butt dimples so before i had this surgery my boyfriend always says that i had a nice butt i mainly if you watch my other vlogs you will see that i did this surgery because i was tired of my love handles i didn't like the way my back was shaping love handles to me were just out of pocket and they needed to go so being that, um, to transfer that um, love handle fat into my butt was only an extra $500, then I went ahead and did the BBL, but if I would have just removed the love handles, that would have just been $500 cheaper than the BBL surgery. So being that I went ahead with the BBL surgery, um, with that, I now have butt dimples. So before, my butt was always very smooth. For someone like me who's very like, I'm very attentive to my skin. I don't have any stretch marks. 
So the fact now that I have butt dimples, it kind of makes me like be paranoid a bit. So it's in a sense, it's a good thing because now I'm a little bit more motivated to go work out and tone it because that has got to go. I can't be going around here with a butt with butt dimples. But before my butt was fully smooth, and now I would say yes, I have dimples in my butt. So we gotta get that fixed. So that is one thing for me so far. I'm not used to seeing my butt with dimples like that. So that has came as a result of now putting fat into my butt. So that is number one that I would say sucks from this surgery. Um, number two, and Number two, number two, I would say a big thing is like prior to the surgery, um, I threw away like a lot of my clothing items. I threw away like my bra and panties because I just like was like, you know what? I want to start fresh. I want to start new, but I don't think anything else is going to fit me. So if you look at this video the other day, I purchased this outfit. And I want to talk to you guys about the outfit and where I got it. But clearly, as you can see, my butt is now bigger. So the, it caused the strap to break. So I'm inching on two months now post-op. And I've been cleared at two months to start working out. And I don't have any workout clothes that fit me. And then to order stuff online, it's frustrating because... It's just overwhelming. I don't know what's going to fit me or how it's going to fit me. It's just a big, drastic change. Um, I tend to buy a lot of my stuff online. And it sucks because you've been with your body since the day you were born. And now you just got a whole new body. So, like, knowing your measurements, how things will fit you, it's just really frustrating. Um, a lot of my underwear that I purchased now when I've gone to the store... I get home, try them on, they don't fit. Mess, you know, you're just like wasting money on underwear. Um, pants don't really fit me. I'm at two months now, so like wearing shorts, my stomach is still being molded. It's really sensitive, so I can't really wear anything over my stomach without it being painful. So right now, I've just been opting to wear like nice like dresses. Um, just a lot of one-piece um, items that don't have any type of seams or bands on the stomach part. So it doesn't really hurt my stomach. So that's just been really frustrating. Um, I, I saved one outfit that I wore months ago um, to, while we were on a vacation. And then I decided to try it on now that I'm recovered a bit. And it just doesn't fit me the same. I go up. Yeah, before it was definitely way easier to put these up. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. <sighs> okay, we can get the front up, but <sighs> and this is what happens with a lot of the clothes. <sighs> the back doesn't fit. Too tight on the waist and that's gonna cause some it's gonna okay what do you guys think it's too tight on the waist it's painful and back here it's painful so it's like a lot of clothes don't fit you everything's frustrating you don't know where to buy stuff at you don't know what your size is gonna be and I feel like the first two months you're always in your faha and you're not really clear to work out yet so now that i'm gonna start this working out process i'm gonna have to buy workout clothes and i don't i have no idea where to start looking for workout clothes i have no idea what my measurements are going to be so when you hit that two month marker is when it started finally to hit you like all right the recovery process is kind of ending 
as far as like wearing the um like the file have 24 7 and things like that like now you're more mobile so you're starting to think about life like actual life stuff like your mind isn't fully on recover 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 it's like all right now i'm entering this world with this new like body and i gotta figure out how to make it work so if i go out and buy anything it's like all right if i start working out what if like in a few months that stuff doesn't fit me either so it's a waste of money so it's just like really stressful because i don't know what to buy when to buy it how to buy it how it's supposed to fit like i don't know my sizes so that's number two that really sucks about this freaking surgery this is number three sitting on my butt i just hit three months and when i'm sitting to watch a movie or something after a while your butt starts hurting and it's like an uncomfortable feeling um I can't really explain it. It's just something uncomfortable. Like if you're sitting on your foot and all of a sudden your foot falls asleep, it's uncomfortable. You have to get up. You have to readjust. Um, and it's the same when it comes to sleeping. When I'm asleep and I try to turn over to lay on my back, it's uncomfortable. My butt just feels like it's it's. I'm at a higher distance now from the bed. <laughs> like... It's uncomfortable and I can't really sleep on my back anymore. I can't, if I sleep on my sides, it starts to hurt. And if I sleep on my sides, then I start thinking about how the molding is going to be shifting on my abdomen. And I'm still trying to make my abdomen look very, um, have optimal results. So I still have to like face down if I really want to continue molding and flattening my stomach but there are some times when I want to turn over you know and cuddle or something and sleeping laying on your side is uncomfortable cuddle with you yeah, that's a damn lie. <laughs> anyway so number four about this surgery that it completely sucks I would say is um like, everything just seems, everything appears, I guess, a little bit more sexual. Um, there's certain outfits that I've had, like, before my surgery that I try, like, I've tried to wear now. And even my boyfriend is like, where do you think you're going with that? Like, everything just appears more. Yeah, that was one time trying to wear that Gucci mama joint. And I've worn that outfit before. Never. Out the house? Never. Yes. Never. Bet your life on. I think I did before no, over see, here. Think about it, I wore it to the post. You think about it. I know about it. You never wore that house. Wore that outside the house, ever. But okay, even when we were at Publix the other day, and I wore the dress, did you're I like, anything, did I say anything about it? No, you said your booty switching more. You, your walk is switching. Like it's just and every you're you're. What was that that stank ass walk? I had that stink walk all my life, but now saying, it's more was, heightened. And I was like, damn, look at that thing. That thing's shaking. That thing yeah, is but everything is now more, like, sexual. Yeah. You yeah, got to so keep in mind. Because of your curves, but that, that dress was fine. But then you know you was out of pocket that day. That's why you came here. Okay, but, like, okay, but so how I want to word it is certain things you wear, you have to be cautious that you are now more curvaceous, more voluptuous, and things will not fit you how they did before. So... You just have to keep that into consideration when you're stepping out because something that I could probably wear before to a youth soccer game, I can't wear that now because everything, it just looks and fits more sexual on you, if that makes any sense. So you have to just like, you're. it's going to be a trial and error with a lot of things. And you're going to be getting to know your body. It is a journey. And I'm excited about my journey. Um, but you you are learning quite a bit of things about yourself that is, it's, they're new roads. And so far, those are four things for me that suck. Um, I did say I was going to pick top five. I can't think of a fifth one right now off top of my bat. Maybe, Riv, do you have one? Yes, sir. Like one thing that you think sucks about my surgery <laughs> well, I think for now, though, the things that really do suck is the sitting factor, the, um, the butt temples, and... It was kind of weird uh, putting you in the hatch of the SUV while we're driving, Toby. 
Okay, so he's offering a fifth suggestion that sucks. When we're taking like a long road trip or something, um, when we're... When, when we're taking like a long road trip somewhere and he knows that I'm not going to be able to sit down for a long period of time because it is uncomfortable and it does hurt your butt. Um, we have to turn the whole back seat of his SUV into a makeshift like bed. So we have to lay down like a sheet, pillows, all that good stuff. And I have to lay in the back on my stomach because it's just what comes with the recovery process. So I think that's the fifth thing that he that he will contribute that sucks about the surgery, the fact that when we take amazing road trips, he wants his partner in crime to be sitting right next to him and giving him the directions, you know, and letting him... Yeah, and that is embarrassing too when we get, like, when we go to, like, a soccer game or something and then he has to, like, press the trunk button and it opens and then here I am, like... Err, 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 err. Backing up with my butt out first just to get out the trunk. So that is kind of embarrassing and I would say that definitely does suck. Yeah, but it is funny because some people probably be like. Some people might know why I'm back there. But some people are probably like, did he just kidnap her? <laughs> but yeah, those are the five things for me that suck so far. Um, If you found this video helpful. Give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But still feel free to subscribe because I got some more content coming for you guys. And I want to keep chatting with you guys. And taking you on on this journey of mine as I recover. As I recover from my BBL. Ooh, you are such a hater. <laughs> okay, I might not know how to sing, but I can act really well. I can act. So don't try me, y'all. Cause when I put on, when I give y'all a little Oscar, a Oscar audition, y'all gonna be like, dang, I didn't know Truby had that in here. Like I can act, y'all. I can act. Okay, I can act. Give it to me. Give it to me. Anyways, talk to y'all later. I be talking and gabbing and yabbing too much. And there's what is it, March Madness or something? So he gotta watch. So I gotta get off. I gotta get off of here and figure out where we're gonna go watch this game at. I need a big piece of chicken. Ciao guys, love ya.